Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising signs <clears throat> for the week of March 16th through March 26th. So let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. What's going on with our Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week? What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? All right, you all, quick disclaimer. For a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order. And for other you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week. So just take what resonates with you guys. What's going on with my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and my We have the Three of Cups. So there may be like a third party situation or there may, may be some type of uh, celebration that you may be having um, during this time. Also, it can be some, you know, mixed emotions. Um, someone may be third willing. Let's see. The Empress is in reverse as well. A lot of you guys may have been feeling like you've been neglecting yourself. And I just saw the Three of Swords, but it didn't come all the way out. Yep. Well, it did. It came right back out. It was like, uh, fooled you. Okay. So... There's some type of depression or, yeah. You may, be, you may be feeling like right now in this moment with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse that you're investing your time. You may be making a bad investment or you may be feeling like you are having bad choices um, at the moment when it comes to your time and your material. But... Spirit is saying you have this three of pentacles energy here. You get in it's networking energy here. The strength card is in reverse. Back of deck energy. And then you have the ace of cups. So cancers. Um, looking at the spread, a lot of you guys are feeling like you're doing something um, that you have no business doing. Or you may be feeling like you're having slow progress or things are not on the up and up for you you're not moving forward you're not progressing you're feeling like uh i'm being stagnant especially with this uh nine of pentacles being in reverse and then it's like with this three of swords energy it's like it's causing you to feel the pain or feeling the lack thereof and you have the strength card that's the overall energy which is the back of deck energy which is heavy leo energy okay you guys and it's like you're disappointed you know you're not feeling as strong or you're not feeling as powerful a lot of you guys cancer are feeling like you don't have control over your life right now in this moment you feel like you're feeling like things are not in your grasp no longer and with this energy surrounding you guys you guys fully are in the position and where you need to be right now in this moment because this moment that you're in is actually helping you grow it's actually teaching you a lesson and also this this phase that you're in right now cancer is letting you know that hey you know maybe i'll be able to use this knowledge elsewhere or i'm going to really realize what it is that i need to be doing you're going to branch off ideas off of whatever it is that you're going through right now and i see that here so this three of cups energy is about celebrations it's also about networking with people and communicating with others but i feel like this um has a lot to do with emotions as well cancer because this is water sign energy flowing through for some of you guys this can go different ways so i'm going to speak on all of the different scenarios that i'm seeing here 
all right so the first one that i'm seeing is about the celebration so some of you guys may be celebrating something celebrating an accomplishment with people that you love and with people that do care about you and have your best interest for other you guys this may not be celebration this may actually be indecisiveness why because this can be a third party situation as far as relationships as far as having um feelings for you know multiple men having feelings for multiple women you know who depends on who's watching this video you know whatever floats your boat but um having multiple different feelings or being indecisive when it comes to your feelings as well like over emotional um this is like a polygamous card as well you know polygamy polygamy relationships or whatever now another thing that i'm seeing with this is you guys are growing and networking with other people finding other people who are in your soul tribe who are leading you and guiding you in a direction that you're needing to go so it's three different things that i'm seeing here with this card just take what resonates with you guys you may be you know dealing with a relationship you may be getting a promotion or you just may be finding your soul tribe all right with the empress card what i'm seeing here with it being in reverse is that you guys have not been getting enough rest or you have not been pampering yourself you've been neglecting yourself a little bit um for some time um and it may be because you're not feeling up to par you're just not wanting to spend the money or you're just not seeing it as a priority to make that as an investment right now money may be tight right now in the moment you have the three of swords that is here now this is midjaded pain okay so this is the pain that is prolonging you know this is um something that you've been thinking about i know it has the heart here but the three of swords this is all about you know communication this is air sign energy so it's how you're thinking mentally and your mental thoughts may be causing you to feel painful you may be thinking of things that are not actually happening um in real life in reality um causing you to feel lower than you should be cancer so i really feel like you know during this week cancer you guys are really going to be learning something um essential learning something that is really going to change your life you have the nine of pentacles that is in reverse and with it being in reverse like i said you guys may be feeling like you're making a bad investment or something is taking too long to prosper because when the nine of pentacles is in the upright position this is somebody who is stepping into their prosperity but with it being in reverse i feel like you guys are thinking like man this is taking too long but this is the best investment cancer this is the best investment in your life right now and i feel that energy for you guys the three of pentacles once you guys get out of that energy of feeling like things are not going where it needs to be everything's not flowing that's when you're that's when you're really going to start to see things coming together people are going to start to come out of the woodworks with this three of pentacles energy giving you ideas okay or saying something to you that sparks that light bulb in your mind for you to be like this you know what this is what i can be doing you know what this is what i should be doing talking with like-minded people people who are encouraging you putting people in your circle who are really there for you and not just there for the benefit you guys have the ace of cups energy here this is the abundance of love abundance of joy abundance of happiness an overflow this is the cup overflowing and i feel like this week you're really going to have this moment where you sit down and you be like this you know what i'm so thankful and grateful that i went through this i'm so thankful and grateful i went to this destination i learned these new things i have this you know built up i have this experience now i know what i can do with it now i know how to work with it now it all makes sense now okay and that's what the title of the video is going to be now it all makes sense now you know and i feel like during this time and during this week cancer you're really going to be like this oh i don't know why i'm going through this i don't know why i'm doing this you know i don't understand why i'm going through this right now But I, I can I can guarantee you by the 26th, you guys are really going to be like this. You know what? I understand why I was going through this. I understand now I have the tools. Okay. Now I have the tools to make it. 
Now I have the tools to navigate through the life that I want to live. Okay? So let's go ahead and get it. Let me write this on my board real quick. Huh? It all makes sense now. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to make sense. I have to write this on my dry erase board. <laughs> so I can remember the title of the video. For real. Let's see what the numerology cards are talking about, you guys. Because seriously, we need those vibes. We need the vibes, Cancer. Okay? Okay? Period. Let's see what's in here. Okay, okay. Ooh, see, I knew, I knew it, I knew it. Domestic harmony came through. So we gotta read this card out today. We gotta talk about it because there's something involving relationships for you guys. You guys do have number 48, financial discipline. Um, please be disciplined with your money. This is not a good time to be spending a lot of money. And we also have the nine of pentacles that was in reverse, letting us know not to make any bad investments when it comes to money now. Um, you do have number one, new beginnings, and the Ace of Cups does rule new beginnings as well. So we're going to get into this domestic harmony. I always read it every time it comes up. I've been guided to. So let's do this. Domestic harmony. Okay. This card indicates a time of healing your relationships and your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, family member, ex, or current partner, house guest, or roommate. It could even relate to problems you have had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. And we see the happiness right here with the Ace of Cups. Come on, somebody. Let's go. This card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making the necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. Come on, y'all. Before I finish reading this, Cancer, like, I'm telling you guys, like, that you're where you need to be right now. You're really going to realize it. You're going to realize it, where this is taking you, okay? In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward domestic harmony and peace. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, compassion, and compromise. By improving your relationships and your home, you will improve your quality of life. And the affirmation says, I have happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. I have happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. You guys, seriously. Like, that is, that is just so beautiful. Like, some of you guys, it's really time for you to commit to what you're doing right now and take it by storm. We're going to get into the Black Moon Astrology card so we can see what you guys are needing to know during this time. And we've got the fifth house creativity, which is ruled by Leo. It's the fifth zodiac sign. So if you guys are ever confused with like what the houses mean and what they stand for, the houses are ruled by that number zodiac sign. Okay, so we're going to get into number 29, fifth house creativity. All right. I wish all the cancers could watch this video. We're going to manifest it. Okay. All right. Every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up. Be happy. Give yourself the gift of happiness. If the Zodiac had a fun house, it would be the fifth house. Pleasure, creativity, and children are all elements of this house. Being ingenious and in the limelight is another element. We find our childlike imaginations through storytelling and fantasy. Playing is very much what the fifth house is all about. That's what this part of the chart also rules over romance, especially the beginning stages. As children, our imaginations know no bounds and we indulge in creative performances. 
When as adults we dip into this field, we allow our minds and hearts to roam free and produce masterpieces. When the fifth house brings romance, we also enter into a kind of playfulness, a sensual joy that happens inside the playground of adulthood. This card turning up in a reading indicates that you have created or will begin to create something to be proud of, something that will bring others joy. It may have you on a stage or just an area where adults can let down their hair and become as children, responsive, joyful, and free. You can expect the completion of a project Y'all, it's, it's new beginnings. It's sounding like new beginnings. Or the accomplishment of a significant goal for which there will be a celebration. Three of cups. You have put hard work into a project and will now see the results. Gifts, parties, gatherings, premieres, galas, or even a wedding may figure in. You could become involved in a school setting with children or mostly young adults. Since the fifth house is the natural house position for the sign Leo, someone close to you, a potential lover, a mate, or the two of you together will make a striking appearance. It's time to go out and be seen. This card may turn up during the time of a budding romance. Perhaps your current relationship will go through a positive transformation, or perhaps there is a new potential mate on the scene. The fifth house is also strongly tied to our artistic expression, meaning art of every kind, from painting to drawing to creating stage sets, costuming, writing stage, and screenplays, making films as well as music. If you are a parent, the fifth house stands for your children. It also stands for other offspring, such as grandchildren, and sometimes even your friends of your children. This card turning up can indicate that a younger relative is about to be singled out for special acknowledgement. The Jupiter card appearing next to the fifth house card and a spread points to awards and rewards, while the Saturn card next to the fifth house can indicate a depression or the slowing up of energy or the feeling of being stuck some of you guys have been feeling stuck okay nine of pentacles in reverse that's capricorn energy that is saturn all right if it were the leo or neptune card leo is here boom bam but it's in reverse it would designate creativity and abundance the fifth house card is all about finding joy in creativity and self-expression with promise of a jubilant return to childhood. It can denote a carnival-like atmosphere where life becomes a three-ring circus, but usually in the best way possible. It is all about multitasking, taking on more than it is expected, than is expected and then making a spectacular success of it. This is the card of the mastery and victory in a deep way, such as what you already carry inside your heart. All is possible now. The most important thing is to move forward. And this is Six of Cups energy. It's time to move forward, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of y'all. Like, everything is just about to make sense. Everything is just about to connect the dots. You're going to have an aha moment, seriously. All right, we're going to get into the Moonology cards, you guys, so we can see what energies are surrounding you all during this time. So we've got the full moon in Libra, and this is a win-win outcome is forecast. So get prepared to win, okay? Thank you. <laughs> We have balanced spirituality and practicality, and I am not surprised to see this one. Have faith in your dreams. What are you dreaming for? What are you happy about? Like, you do, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Let's go ahead and get into the Starseed Oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from Spirit. And the first card to come out is Deep Cellular Healing. It's letting us know that this is Arcturus Energy, Physical and Emotional Healing. All right. Okay. The courageous peony. This is a multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. It's time to bring yourself out. It's time to let the world know that this is what you're good at. This is what you do. And then you have earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. So connect with the earth sign during this time so you can stay grounded. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Cancer. This was really fun. I hope it resonated with you all. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below on, you know, what you resonated with. If you like the video, please subscribe. 
hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye